The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you so much, DigiKey. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her powers of engineering to help you find you, yes, you, things on digikey.com that are probably hard to find, or maybe you need help getting that part, or who knows, because it's been an adventure in the world of chip shortages, like supply chain, and of finding and components. more. What is this week's Great Search? Okay, let's go to the overhead real fast. Uh, I've realized uh, one of the things that you know I've been doing is I'm, I'm experimenting with um, slight component changes. Like I've, I've gotten so used to some of our parts that I thought for the new year I'd kind of explore variations. Um, so for example, um, almost all of our boards have these little tactile buttons. Um, these, you know, I call them mini tactiles. They're like three by six, two by five millimeter ish, uh, tactile buttons. And, um, I use them all the time for reset buttons or mode selects. Um, you know, I've got them here on this, uh, KB2040 for the boot and, um, reset button. And um, these are good, but I was thinking, you know, these have like little little mini um, actuators. And I noticed that I saw some folks with boards that have these uh, larger actuators, like Pimeroni uses some of them. I've seen one with some other uh, development boards I've seen Mastodon toots about. And um, so I thought I'd, I'd got some of these and use them, and I rather like them. Like, it's a, a bit bigger of an actuator, but it's still very clicky. And um, I think it's, you know, it's maybe a little bit easier to press because there's a little bit more surface area, a little more tactile. Um, so I thought I would show uh, this part because I didn't realize that this was available on DigiKey. It's actually uh, available at a very good price. So let's go to the website and find them. Um, so first off, I want to mention uh, that SD card that I showed for this board, the little micro SD, the skinny one, if you're like, ooh, I really like that skinny micro SD card. Uh, we covered this in an earlier great search, so go check that out. Um, and then if you want a ADA logger, but uh, feathering format, um, check that out too. And you can see, actually, uh, interestingly enough, this has um, a kind of a wider oval actuator. This is the original KMR2 button that we use. So the button footprint is the same, but the actuator size has uh, varied over time. So let's um, let's go to DigiKey. Uh, so we call these, well, so originally, if you look at all my schematics, I call these KMR2s um, because that's the original, even if I don't necessarily use that exact part number anymore. Um, and that's not what we are going to find here, but I did want to show it. So this is the KMR2. Um, you know, it, you can see that um, kind of oval actuator and then um, the size is about five by three millimeters. Again, the size might vary, so I'm not going to check that box because um, I want to find uh, similar switches. So let's find active SPST. Um, the switch function off mom means um, it's off normally and then momentarily when you press it, it turns on. So that's what I want. The contact rating is not important to me because I don't use these as power switches. I use them only for signaling. So it's like they're passing, you know, microamps at three volts. So I don't care about that. Um, they are surface mount. Uh, they're top actuated. Um, the actuator height I don't want to select because, I, you know, that might vary. The termination style might vary. The outline might vary uh, non-illuminated. Operating force uh, may vary, and then switch travel and mechanical life may vary. So let's see what uh, what pops up here. This should give me quite a few options. So looking down, um, you see kind of these standard, these are the six by six millimeter tactiles. Um, these are very, very popular, right? They're very inexpensive. This kind has a little uh, nub, long actuators, extra long. Um, you can see this is sort of similar to what we're looking for, but let's, let's, uh, pare it down. So the most important thing is the sizing. So remember that size was kind of like four and a half to 2.8, it's basically five by three. The only thing is, is that it's like, you know, it may vary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, uh, a range of parts. So I'm going to do 4.6 by 2.8 and then, um, Let's see, six by 3.2. And let me see, I don't wanna go bigger than six. There's a couple of sizes here that might be close enough. 
let's see, 4.2 by 2.8, 4.2 by 3.2. They're definitely not square, you know, they're, they're rectangular, but the size might uh, vary a little bit. I think these are some good options though. Okay, well, let's see what, uh, what pops up here. Okay, cool. So, um, so you can see this is kind of what I'm looking at. So these, you can see some of these have round actuators and some have like really big pillowy ones. Um, so for me, what's important is pricing. So let's look at pricing for 5,000 because I'm going to be buying a lot of these. Uh, and then of course, if the operating force is important to you, you can select it to me I'll, because it's rarely used. It's just a tactile switch. It's not that important. Um, so you'll see uh, some bigger switches got put in here because of the sizing. So this is six by 3.3. Uh, and then these are some other six by three. So let's remove those. Let's go only the 4.7s. I'm gonna get rid of those. Okay, cool. Um, and here we are. So uh, we've got a couple options. We've got ones with the uh, black actuator, uh, white. This one looks like it's a little bit taller. Um, I ended up going with the RK, but I do want to show that there's a lot of different options. Like if you want, if you do want the little tiny uh, button, those are available. And if you like, uh, you know, white actuator, that's cool. But what I really liked was these RKs because first off, they're you know fairly inexpensive. All these these PTS ones are also very inexpensive, about ten cents, eleven cents. Um, but you can get them either two fifty gram force actuation, so a little bit tougher, or 160 gram force. And, uh, you know, both are the same package, 4.2 by 3.2. And even though these, um, oops, these might, uh, let's see if the other one has a little bit better now. Uh, um, even though this one, it doesn't, it doesn't have an image at the bottom, but I do have the, the data sheet up here. So the footprint, even though the, the size, you know, might vary by 0.1 millimeter here and there, the footprint actually worked exactly the same. Like I used my standard KMR2 footprint and I used this part and um, you know the overhead real fast. You can see it uh, fits very nicely. It picks the place very nicely. Uh, it has four uh, solder points and uh, I rather like this button. So. You know, I'm, this is a 250 gram force. It's, it's particularly clicky, but I kind of like that. I like the force feedback of um, a high uh, tactile, high clickiness button. So I'm going to probably be moving, you know, a lot of my boards, especially new ones, over from these smaller tactile to these uh, nice larger ones. Uh, these buttons are a little bit less expensive, and I like the uh, nice oval actuator as well. So congratulations, the RKB, you have... Uh, one over the KMR2 to win for the button of the week. And that's a great search.